So this is gonna be a quick video on uh, my Zwift setup and if you know from my previous videos I've been quite injured for the last uh, almost three months recovering from running injury and I decided to take it to the next level and just maintain my aerobic capacity and just kind of like recover slowly with a low impact exercise which is using my bike and the indoor trainer on Zwift and so I'm gonna use this as a cross training example and what I'm actually doing uh, but an idea for this video is to kind of show you the minimal effective gear list kind of like on a budget of what it requires to actually get started with Zwift so, so a few yeah. things first hardware wise what you need is a fan that's an absolute must and um, it's just because it gets heated and especially indoors uh, next, we will need uh, a laptop or a big screen device, something you can actually plug in and also use an iPad. Uh, next, we have a bike, of course. Then, on that note, we have a cable with an Ant Plus dongle, which you kind of need to position next to a smart trainer. Just placing the cable next to the thing is what makes it actually receive it better because sound plus is quiet and consistent and it loves to jump off the signal boom connect now talking about the trainer you can get um, a lot of different options on the trainer side uh, this is tax bushido which is completely wireless a portable trainer which you can just take let's say on a camping trip or cycling trip and just use it wherever it just self charges and connects for amp plus and bluetooth um, and it also uh, jacks up the resistance of up to 14 uh, degrees of incline so it, it's pretty smooth and it's you know swift once you cycle let's say it adapts to a terrain on a mode called erg and it basically let's say if you hit the climb which is happens all the time you, your trainer is gonna jack up the resistance is gonna feel like you're climbing on top but there are other a lot of different options but uh, these things are the most expensive bits in the actual setup um, I think it actually costs more than my bike because I didn't really wanted to invest in a bike just for cross training purposes so my bike was I think about 100 pounds less than actual trainer <laughs> and uh, yeah but it does the trick um, and I think if you if you want to do it right I think you should invest in the trainer especially if you're gonna do it for a long time I uh, plan to do it in a long time maybe like one to two days a week as a cross training um, activity so I, I felt like it's a good investment to have especially since it's quite bulletproof and you know you can do a lot of it you don't have to use Swift you can use other uh, training programs and other setups but this should last you know long time because it's quite sturdy it's it's heavy metal and it holds the bike in place and you can just clip off uh, change the, the wheel if you want and just go right outside Next, which is kind of like a must is a tire which is special for a trainer uh, it has a bit different kind of rubber so it doesn't slip and you of course you're not supposed to ride it outside next hardware thing is of course stand for a front wheel which is quite essential because otherwise you're gonna bounce to the sides and we have some sort of mat because there is gonna be a lot of sweat puddles here since it gets quite hot and you know fan doesn't really fan that much I also have my phone on the hand because you can use uh, one of the apps for Zwift to control actual thing. You can also connect with people on the social network side and see the game once you connect. It of course has to be on the same Wi-Fi network to pick up, but it's pretty good. Last thing from hardware, which is recommended, is to get some sort of heart rate monitor uh, I use my Garmin running one it doesn't really matter what you use it's gonna pick up anyways via Bluetooth 
additional things non hydrate related you'll definitely gonna need a towel or two even because you're gonna sweat buckets especially if you're gonna hit like an hour ride or so and of course water plenty of it i have like a liter which should last me like an hour and a half um i put some himalayan salt as well inside because of uh, low carb high fat approach to training so um you know the water retention is quite lower than usual than if you would be on a carbohydrate since one gram of carb is basically allows you to swell up and maintain four grams of water which you can use it but you know because of inflammatory response i'm not really keen on that so i just use uh, electrolyte rich water kind of like a saline water on the side and yeah that's my setup so i'm gonna hit up the, the ride and, and do it for I don't know, like a really easy uh, two hour or one hour and a half ride uh, just to maintain my aerobic capacity. So yeah, that's the best bit about Zwift, is that the time flies and you can just immerse yourself fully, try to compete, try to catch up with other people. But yeah, that's my kit and that's how I do it.